Okay, I'm gonna start. You are, no, I'll start. Okay. I'll start. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Music and the Message show. A weekly talk show to uplift, inspire, educate, and entertain. We are so happy you're joining us today. I'm your host, Roosevelt. And I'm Jeff, the stitch to her Lilo. Okay, I get that one. <laughs> Mohana, you ugly. I no, mean, wait. no, Ohana means family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On today's show, we will be talking about Jason Howell and learning about the FAM project. Yes, and since we're talking about family, um, Roosevelt, you've got a great song and video. Uh, today it's called Families Can Be Together Forever. Yeah. I love that song. I'm yeah. so glad we were talking about families today because we got, we're going to be part of their um, virtual family summit. Yeah, so. that's going to be great. Uh, we're going to talk more about family in today's segment. Uh, of course, I've got In the Fatherhood, and I'm going to give some tips to some dads on how to be humorously attractive. Mom says you're pretty funny looking. Oh, Just <laughs> See, kidding. That, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys get notified every single week we post a brand new video. Absolutely. And we'd love to interact with you during the broadcast. So please comment in the live chat and make sure that you like, like love, love, or, or laugh. laugh. Show us how people with a click. All right. Let's do it. From Event Lab Studios, welcome to the Music and the Message Show, a talk show with dad and daughter duo Roosevelt and Jeff Rawls, featuring music that will uplift and a message that will educate and inspire, bringing you guests that are making a difference in the lives of abused children. Here are your hosts, Roosevelt and Jeff Rawls. Yes. Uh, you know, have we taken a moment to tell everybody thank you for watching? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a number of followers that are watching every episode. And now that we've got a podcast. Yep. Listening so, to so every episode. So, so excited for that. But we also have new followers, new watchers, new viewers, new listeners. Just kind of want to tell you guys <laughs> what we have been doing. This is our third? This is, our, this is number four. Oh, four. Oh, fourth my Fourth episode. This is the I know. We're four. growing up. <laughs> <laughs> we're so, so excited because this is our number four, and we're going to be putting them out every single week. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let us know what you guys think of the show. Yeah, and the podcast, let us know what you think of the podcast, oh, yeah. uh, because that that's out. brand new for us. We've never done anything like that. Nope. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're excited. But in order for us to do all of this, we... We, ha we need sponsors, and we have an amazing sponsor... Event Lab Studios, yeah. and it's this amazing place which we love. Yes. Thank you for letting us be here and use the studio because it's amazing. And you guys can yeah. also use yeah. the studio. If all. you ever need the studio, if you need a studio, Call them up. teach a class, <laughs> any of that, yeah. Uh, but I do want to say this Event Lab Studio has been an incredible team that cares about our success and the success of the show. Working with Patrick and Carrie Antrim and the entire Event Lab Studios production team, they really are amazing. Like, I'd love yeah. to bring them in. Right? <laughs> Come on in, guys. Uh, working with uh, them, their entire organization, uh, is like working with a football organization. Uh, stay with me. Yes, you can say that. All right? <laughs> stay with me, all right? They've got the best coaches, effective and efficient quarterbacks, receivers, blockers, runners, cheerleaders. Yay! And fans. <laughs> no, they, like, really, like, we come into the studio like, all right, what do we got? What are we doing today? Right? Yeah. They're amazing. Yes, they are. Uh, and to just call them producers would not do them justice. They are leaders. They're strategists. They are insightful. They're influencers. Influencer. Yeah, I mean, they've, they are getting it done at a level unmatched by anyone that I've ever worked with before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you think yeah. about some games? Okay. Oh, uh, go to eventlabstudios.com. Oh, yeah. Event Lab Studios, go check them out. Yeah. What do you guys think about games? games? Games. Let's do this game here. I say we do a fun game. Yeah, when we were in Tennessee, uh, we got a, a game called Do You Know Me? <laughs> now, this is a lot of fun because playing this game with your family, uh, there's a lot of really great and fun and interesting questions in here. I say we play. That uh, we don't... Get to uh, ask let's see, I think your questions other. are over oh, there. These ones mine? Yeah, I think these All ones right. are mine. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask one of you, and then I will put I will we'll put down yes or no. Yeah. So we want you guys to play along with us. Yeah. Uh, in the chat, 
or if you're watching this later, uh, put it down in the comments. But uh, type down like question one, yes, yes. question two, no, however you want to play. But uh, we're going to do the yes, no question here. So you're going to ask me three questions before okay. I answer, before I give the answer, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Question number one. Have you ever been in a tornado? Have I ever been? So if you think yes, comment down yes. Have I ever been no. in a tornado? Comment down no. Okay, there's number one. Okay. Have you text have you text an emoji today? Ooh. Did I text an emoji today? Maybe. Uh, I well I can't say I love. <laughs> um, oh, let's put that. I don't know. Uh, I was like, I don't know <laughs> either. <find out. laughs> Do you have fifty unread emails on your phone? Just fifty or fifty or 50 more? Fifty or more. Fifty oh. or more. Unread emails? Okay, I know that answer. Yeah. Okay. I know, I know how so my then, inbox is. Are you okay. gonna do it to me now? So let's Or should I guess? Let's find out the answers. All right, you ready for this? So tornado. ask those questions again. Oh, so have you ever been in a tornado? I'm wait, I'm guessing yes. Okay, was this number one? This is number one? Yep. All right. Have I ever been in a tornado? <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> no. It's that one. This is the one. There you go. That is the answer. Oh, no, on. I've I never was... been in a tornado. Well, I was close. However, <laughs> Arizona has some amazing monsoons that oh, yeah. are pretty darn close. Well, I was like okay. 50% there. Okay. You know? You ready for this? What's the that next sounds... one? Have you texted an emoji today? Okay. I think I did. I'm pretty sure that I did. Okay. So well, I'll, maybe uh, during the music you can check, and then we'll. Yeah, and when we do know. when we do the, the live chat, the we'll live chat, I'll let you know the that. correct answer. But that's that's my answer today. All right. Well, okay. you've texted an emoji, I guess. <laughs> do you have fifty or more unread emails on your phone? Okay, I have to let you know. I know how I handle my inbox, and it's going to say a lot about me. What do you think? I'm going to say yes. I have, I definitely have more than 50. I think I have like 10. Okay, how many do you think I have? I'm... <laughs> it's higher. 200? <laughs> it's higher. Higher than that? 908. 908? I, yeah, but it's all... What? Okay. What do you... What? <laughs> no, I have an old account that like, I mean, I've had this account for 20 years and oh my so goodness. a lot of just the things that I sign up for it's just one of those things but it just keeps populating I don't use it for the important people in my life okay <laughs> here's your questions anyway okay. I hope you guys did great if anybody got a hundred percent we're gonna put you into a drawing all right the next one here's for three uh, here's three questions for Roosevelt let us know in the chat or the comments uh, what you think her answers are, are you ready okay. for this all right, the first question is, did you, did Roosevelt go trick-or-treating last year? Like the last one that we just did? 2020. This is going to be one of those oh, anomaly questions because who knows what was going on back uh, in October. Did Roosevelt go trick-or-treating? Question number two. Would you rather give up social media over television? Oh. Yes or no? Give up social media uh, would be yes. like, uh, yes, I would give, give up, up social, social media. media or no, I would not give up social media. I would give up television. That's how that answer oh, is. Oh, I don't know. That one's hard. Hi. What do you think? Okay. Okay. And then the third one, does Roosevelt think that pineapple belongs on pizza? Oh, that one. I know <laughs> that, that one. Okay. All right. So make sure you put the answers in the comments. All right, here we go. You ready for your here? Okay. So did you go trick or treating last year? I'm trying to go through my brain with COVID and everything. I know a lot of the stuff shut down, but uh, I want to say that you and your friends went out knocking. So I'm going to say yes. No, okay. I went That's to. That's my good daughter. <laughs> <laughs> no, my we went boys to... did that. <laughs> we went. Uh, we did um, like a haunted house or something like that. Okay, so perfect. I did not go trick or treating, which was a little sad, but yeah. it's okay. Now let's try. We were working, weren't yes, we? Yes, we were. We were working. That's, I should have remembered that. Uh, I'm getting old. My memories. All right, would Roosevelt? Would you rather give up social media or television? So. 
A yes, you would give up social media. No is television. I think you would not give up social media. How'd you know? <laughs> no, I would not. Well, right. here's the yeah, thing. So I, yes. I do, like, I don't know. It was it was a 50-50 because yeah. I love both. But you know. Yeah, okay. Well, we're going to talk about the importance of giving up some social media with today's guest. All right. So I'm glad well, you answered that way. That's an insightful. Okay, here we go. With the last and final question, <laughs> does Roosevelt think pineapple belongs on pizza? I what think. do you guys think? I think yes. I hate <laughs> pineapple on pizza. No, it does not belong on it. And uh, it will never belong on it in it my world. It will belong on it. it no. Will. All right. Well, well, thank you, guys. That's a game called Do You Know Me? A wonderful game to play with your family. And as always, remember to take time for your family. Spend time with them. Play games. Yeah. We have a lot fun. of fun. Lots of laughter. All right. Well, it's time for In the Fatherhood. Hey, Father Hoodsters. For 25 years, I have worked in the comedy industry. Improvisation, stand-up, sketch, commercial, writing, producing, acting, hosting, MC. Ah, I just, I love to make people laugh. And different types of comedy makes different people laugh for different reason. There's verbal wit, slapstick, parody, satire, intellectual, situational, screwball, irony, topical, dark, dry, and self-deprecating. <laughs> there's a lot of different types. But there's one type of humor that can be damaging to your relationship with your children, your spouse, friends, coworkers. It's called insulting humor. This style of humor uh, puts other people as the brunt of the joke, the punchline. It's making fun of others in order to get a laugh. Now, unfortunately, insulting humor is everywhere. YouTube, sitcoms, movies, commercials, memes, GIFs, and, and, and because it makes people laugh, it must mean we have permission to use it to make fun of others, right? <laughs> Wrong. Consider this. Comedy and humor are not one and the same. Humor is used in everyday life. Comedy is for the stage, TV, video, commercials. Now, rather, it's the performance of humor. It gives uh, disconnected permissions to make fun of someone else, to purposefully say or do something to someone else that wouldn't normally be socially acceptable. For instance, my friend Lamar shares a story in his stand-up routine about the belief of finding your soulmate. He says that everyone has a soulmate that matches up with that perfect someone to your soul. He says, years ago, I met my and married my soulmate. He also says, uh, little did I realize how dark and depraved and nagging my soul really is. Now, as a stand-up routine, this is hysterical, you can imagine. However, in real life, to use your wife as the brunt of a joke like that may have serious consequences. Now, uh, one time here and there, no problem, but eventually it all adds up. But I'm just kidding, honey. Come on, lighten up. I'm warning you to keep the insulting humor out of your relationships. There are plenty of other styles of humor for you to master that won't eventually destroy someone's confidence. Someone who doesn't find you funny because you make fun of them isn't because they don't have a sense of humor. It just might be because you are a big, fat, stupid dum-dum to believe that whatever you can say on stage is what you can say in person. Now you can download my Do You Know Your Sense of Humor worksheet by clicking on the link in the description. Dads, keep them laughing. People are attracted to positive humor. Don't just be funny looking, okay? Be humorously attractive. If you want to be insulting, there's plenty of self-deprecating humor that you can play with. Thank you for joining me in the fatherhood.
everyone remember who we need to help. I came up with the acronym for CHILD, C-H-I-L-D. Today's song focuses on the letter H. How can I help? Everyone grows up in different kinds of homes. Although the situation might be different, we all have the same needs. Every child needs to know how important they are. They also need to feel loved. One way that uh, your family can feel your love is by serving them. I hope that you will look around to see how you can help. My two favorite quotes from Mother Teresa are, give your hands to serve and your hearts to love. She also says, faith in action is love and love in action is service. I love these sayings because it reminds us to serve not only with our hands, but serve with our hearts. Whether your conditions, your contributions are big or small, it will have an effect on them. How can you help? Speak kind words, smile, take a moment to acknowledge them, or be excited or positive about something they did. Though you may not know it, but by helping others, it is also helping you grow, just as much as, as it is helping them. I hope that this song can inspire you to help your family by treating them with love and respect. I have a Thank you. 
of God's family and we all need to love and serve each other, especially the children. Yeah, that is true. And if you would like to help Roosevelt's effort to help the children, you can go to 52many.com to make, make a donation. A donation. Yeah. You can watch this and other music videos on Roosevelt Sings YouTube channel. Please make sure that you share it and drop her a comment. Let her know what you think of all of her videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because more music videos coming soon. <laughs> That's right. And I am excited. I love that song and I love that we're talking families today. It's really, really important. Um, we're not taking advantage of our families, but we put them into focus. And uh, I'm excited to learn more about the FAM project. Yeah, the FAM project was started by a group of families tired of losing their kids' attention to, vi to devices like and social, social media. media. <laughs> FAM, FAM stands for Family Awareness Movement, and they are committed to shining a light on the effects of technology addictions that are destroying families, yeah. bonds, and learning children, and lead leading children down dark paths. Yeah, they are. Uh, today's guest is a 25-year visionary entrepreneur and consultant that loves giving back and helping people change their lives. His 20 years of sobriety, personal transformation, and work experience have contributed to the development of The FAM Project. Please welcome the CEO and co-founder of The FAM Project, Jason Howell. Hey Welcome, guys. Jason. Hi. Yeah, oh. thanks for having me. Thank Such a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. I love what you guys are doing. Oh. <laughs> I love what you guys are doing. <laughs> yeah, the FAM Project, you've got, uh, I mean, just you've come into our view um, about the time that COVID came into the view. Um, <laughs> and I really want to kind of dig into that because this message is so important. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, it was actually about three years ago that I started realizing that there was a dismantling going on with my family, a disconnection between me and my, my wife and our kids. And what's the culprit? Yeah. It's the culprit in most families. It's that dang little digital device that <laughs> right. all of us are on. And yeah. I think we as parents are just as guilty as our oh, kids yeah. are, yeah. you know? And we have the excuse of, hey, I use it for work and you know, all these great things that technology does today. But what it does is it disconnects us yeah. to having human connection and interaction. And I think that's what kids really want, is yeah. that time with us, you know? Yeah, yeah. well, um, that's one of the things that we were talking about just uh, prior to you coming on is playing games, you know, taking yeah. time, kind of putting- Social media aside. Putting the technology aside and playing games. So before yeah. we get to that, I say, I know we were like, oh, we're done with the game. I'm like, you're not going to oh, make me done. do the game, are oh, you? Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> oh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. We've got three. Let's do three questions. You want to do them in that order? Is that the way? Or do yeah. you want to do them? Okay, so you're going to, uh, if you're just joining us, here's how you do it. We're going to ask these questions of uh, Jason. And uh, we're going to ask all three See. of them first before you answer, or sorry, before we get the verbal answer. Go okay. ahead and put your answers down. We'll okay. put our answers you down. You guys comment down below to see. And comment. So. You guys got all it. All right. So let's see. Our first question is, you, you can ask them. Oh. You can ask them. Have you ever ridden, ridden? Ridden? Riding. Ridden? Riding. 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 Have you ever ridden in a helicopter? Uh. Ridden in a helicopter. So what do you oh, think? What do you think? Uh, I'm gonna go. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's ours. Gonna say that one. Okay. All right. Question number two. Do you have any food allergies? Ooh. Okay. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah. That. Okay. okay. There's one. There's two. I want to keep them in order this time. Ooh, <laughs> I'm excited for this okay, one. Okay. The last one. All yeah. Right. Should yep. I do it? Okay. Yeah, I like that one. Can you do a Fortnite dance? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> just put that Let's do so that. that see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So, say... hopefully, your quest, your answers are in the comments. Question number one was, yes. yeah, what is have the? Have you ever been in a helicopter? Have you ever been in a helicopter? Yes. yes. And yes. we said, we oh. said yes. We said yes. Yes. We're All good. right. So, We're is good. there a prize? Do I win a prize? You for win a prize. <laughs> getting you them right. Got it right. <laughs> 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 Have I? I, mean, it I got it right. Can we get a bell? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Confetti. Yeah. All right. Number two. Okay. Do you have any food allergies? 
Hold it up. Oh. Oh. Yes. Hold it up. Hold it up so the cameras can see. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. You got what a food allergy? Like? I have tons. Oh, and no. I actually gave them all to my son, too. So, oh. yeah. Gluten, uh, dairy. What, yeah, I was going to say, which one's oh, yeah. the worst? Like, ah. Uh, uh, dairy. Just dairy? mucusy. Just, yeah. yeah. So, But I've learned to live without it, you know? Uh, There's a lot of great foods. You so. just drink water. Yeah. Okay. That's right. <laughs> you're not allergic exactly. to water. No, right? no. <laughs> all right. Well, we're good then. Okay. Yeah. Can you do a Fortnite dance? I'm hoping you say yes. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not going to show you, we, though. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. We say yes as well. We were hoping that even if not, we would Here's, teach you. All right, so which one do you, you do? know? Uh, it's the... Can you stand up and show? You know, don't floss? tell us. Can you stand Is up and show the, the floss? floss? Let's see. <laughs> Hey, there it is. Oh, very good. Oh, there's that couch again. You guys, they got whoopee cushions here. They got whoopee cushions in the seats. Oh, my goodness. Well, that was awesome. Yeah, that was so fun. Very good. Now, um, uh, can we bring the card back up to uh, to introduce Jason? Uh, because your the spelling of your name is, uh, is different. It's very unique. It's J-A-S-H-I-N. N. Yes. But it's pronounced Jason. 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 So yeah. tell us uh, tell us the story of J Jason. Okay. Jason. Well, <laughs> at first I was told that my mom just wanted my name to be different, okay. right? And uh, so even though the pronunciation was the same, the spelling had to be different. So the okay. H is silent in my name. Okay. So I'm 15 years ago, I'm going to eat sushi at a sushi restaurant. Sushi's my favorite. Yeah. food not allergic <laughs> not allergic to that at all and uh and so i i give her my credit card to pay for my meal and she's like do you know what your name means in japanese i'm like no she's like well ja means evil and shin means mind i'm like evil mind oh no i'm like and then i google it and i <laughs> research Mom? it and it's actually a a god that people worship and uh, that just before they're about really? to kill someone. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. what wow, happened to me? I'm like, mom, name. I call her up immediately. I'm like, what did you do to me? No oh, wonder no. I got into drugs as a kid, <laughs> right? Um, no. Yeah, so it was uh, not too wow. good. But I, since I love sushi so much, I have my favorite sushi restaurant, and they're yeah. Korean. And I told them this story, and they said, <laughs> well, you know what your ma name means in Korean? It oh, means okay. Christian. Oh. I'm like, okay, we're like, what? And, I think they're just saying that to make right. me feel better, but yeah. They're like, well, it's good, but it's bad. So yeah. So here, an evil mind guy doing the fam project. I just, I don't know how I got Gotta into this. Gotta clear your name somewhere. That's right. Yeah. It's the yeah. only way to do it. Step into the good. Well, one of the reasons why we named Rose Roosevelt uh, is. Uh, you know, rose meaning beauty, and velt is very Nordic and very strength. strong, and so there's beauty and strength. Uh, that was kind of my buy-in as to, you know, which name should we choose for Roosevelt? And, and of uh, course, president. And of course, the president, because <laughs> her other brothers. So we've got Jefferson and Lincoln, then Roosevelt, Pierce, Ford, and Truman. That's cool. And, and, and so, you know, it's like, well, there's all kinds of names, Kennedy and, and Monroe, uh, Reagan, uh, Madison, Madison and Reagan. And, and you know, buying into uh, Roosevelt, you know, Rose, Velt, beauty, strength. It just, just kind of yeah. matched up. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> and uh, Jeff with one F, J E F. If you just add an E in Spanish, it means boss. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so really? I got that going for me. <laughs> but if you put is John, that Hefe? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so. yeah, anyway, All right. Well, but, I know people are really anxious to hear about what the fan project is. Yeah. So. What is it? And the fam, yeah, what is it? What is it all about? Well, so between ages two and seven, we're giving our kids a digital device. It creates dopamine hits in the brain, just like drugs and alcohol do. And because I had an addiction to drugs and alcohol, um, later on in my life with my sober life, I realized, hey, look, I'm seeing the same type of addictive tendencies with these devices in my kids. So I'm like, if we're raising these kids at such young ages, which is the formidable years, what are we doing, you know? And, um, you know, Colin Karchner, who uh, passed away, yeah. um, right. was a great advocate for, yeah. you know, really speaking out against this. And one of the parents, it always uh, choked me up whenever I heard it, uh, it's like giving your kid a loaded gun, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so when you think about it, it's like, we need to create alternatives for our kids. Yeah. 
you know, instead of just another screen. Because you say, hey, get off your phone, what do they do? They go to the <laughs> play Fortnite, right, you know, hey, get off Fortnite. Now they're watching get TV, Xbox, you know, yeah. and it's like there's no alternatives for our kids. And I think what COVID has done, speaking of COVID, yeah. is it opened up like, what else can I do? Games. We started playing games. We started doing things outside. We started really seeing how important it was for us to spend time together. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what the fan project is really all about. Us, you know, collectively coming together as families. But most people don't know how to parent in today's day and age. Yeah. So we have working with uh, experts, thought leaders, people that have solutions and learning how to parent properly. I mean, there's no manual to parent today. <laughs> no. You know, I wish there was. Right. But there's there's a, a reference, right? Absolutely. So, uh, the Fam Project. Yeah. So uh, we have an app. It's called Fam Central. It's where all of uh, it's our own social media platform. Uh, it allows for thought leaders, speakers, people that have great products and services that help family and personal transformation mm -hmm. learn how to be better people. You know, and it really awesome. starts with us. I mean, before you can have a good relationship or become a good parent, who do you have to work on? Yeah. Yep. Yourself. Yourself. Right? Yeah. And yeah. so that's that's what we do is we teach that, hey, it's okay to make these shifts and changes and 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 want and desire to be a better person, to be a better parent, and make that a, a more of a focal point than anything else that you do, because when we raise good kids, then we can change our world. Oh, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. I That's, I mean, uh, I, I know that a lot of people, you know, they'll, they'll be like, well, you're turning out the way that you are because of good parenting, but I also think that part of it is the, the willingness and the desire from the child, you know, to, you know, be, be willing and open to, uh, to, to finding that for themselves. You know, we, we constantly have that battle of turn off the devices, turn off the devices, right. you know, and, and um, you know, some of them get it. Oh, yeah, here's the reason why. And some of them, not so much. Right. And sometimes <laughs> you know? it's a break from it that allows them to realize how important it is, yeah. you know, because then they start to see, oh, gosh, you know, I felt so consumed in it before because it does have that you know, addictive, dark uh, sense to it. And when you're away from it for a bit, and I know this just, you know, be speaking personally from experience. So, yeah. absolutely. Well, I think yeah. the sad thing about like doing this kind of stuff is you have to use social media for it to get out there because there's no other way. But I, I do yeah. think, yeah. I know it's like yeah, there's no right. other way nowadays, but right. there, get there is social a, media. <laughs> uh, Got to pay social media to tell everybody to get out of social media. Exactly. <laughs> I think, I think that right. there is, there is a lot and a lot of things that are bad on social media, but it's, it's also like, well, we also are using social media for a good way. So, but I do agree with the, there's so much, evil and bad on social media. It, but there but, is good. Yeah. I mean, it, we got to look at what it can be used for that can be good. Yeah. You know, instead of being used by smartphones, be smartphone users. You mm -hmm. know? Right. I like that. <laughs> can we yeah. quote you on that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, one of the quotes here, speaking of quotes, this was uh, this is on your website um, from the Preventative Medicine Reports of 2018. It says, the young people who spend seven hours or more a day on screens are more than twice as likely to be diagnosed with depression or anxiety than those who use screens for an hour a day. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've seen it all with our own kids. We've seen it with ourselves. I mean, you think about it, when your kids are on the device, you tell them to get off, it's usually some level of backlash that you get, right? <laughs> and they start freaking Going into out. Battle. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Gotta go tell them to get off the... <laughs> That's right. And then my back. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like a, a bad parent, <laughs> right. you know, and they make you feel that way. Yeah. And, and, and the, the common response is, hey, you want me to get off of mine? Guess what? I want you to get off of yours. So now hey, there's kids, this hypocritical get relationship. Media. Get off social That's media. That's right. Get off. <laughs> Guys, go do something. That's exactly yeah. right. <laughs> you know, right? so we're totally hypocrites now yeah. to our kids. Yeah. So. Yeah. And it's also a babysitter. It's just like, uh, Gosh, I got things to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know. How do I pacify my child? And, and unfortunately, we've been outsourcing parenting to a digital device. Yeah. And, and I'm not saying that we're not all guilty because we all are at some level. But w when we start taking ownership, becoming an empowered parent and really realize that, hey, look, I have a responsibility for this child to teach them, to love them, to raise them up, to know 
you know, good from bad and give them better alternatives to choose from. Yeah. That's what we want to do. And, and it starts with us, you know, and I'm, I'm not perfect. <laughs> By all means, I got a lot of work to do. And that's why I did this is to force me, right. you know, and that's why we're creating a community so that we all yeah. come together, you know, and do this together because it's a big fight that we're up against right now, it really is. Yeah, and, and I know for me, sometimes it feels like I'm going up against this by myself or you know, my wife and I are going up against, the, to battle against you know, uh, <laughs> YouTube, you right. know, and, and, and how easy it is for these kids to just hours and hours. Right. And yeah. I, know, I know for us, we've been making a conscious effort as well, which I think is part of the solution is making that conscious effort mm -hmm. to say, hey guys, let's go outside and play a game football. of football. Right. Now I have my own football team. I've got six kids, <laughs> and when they oh, bring yeah. their friends over, we've got a game, right? right? But it does make, you know, you've got to make that conscious decision. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, and, and that's where it starts. But it, it's up to the parents, it really is. I mean, yeah. you can't expect your kids to initiate this <laughs> right. stuff. Hey, you know? Dad. Let's just get on social media and let's go play. <laughs> no, because they'd yeah. rather be on it, unfortunately, yeah. just yeah. because it, you know. Yeah. Well, what kind of resources do you guys offer? For so uh, we are just launching. So we have uh, an app called the, uh, the FAM Central app. And so in there, we have a social media platform that allows families to connect with each other. Oh, uh, awesome. We also have education, like just basic level education we call FAM Basics yeah. that teaches, you know, things that people need to know for awareness. Mm -hmm. You know, what can I do to parent? Um, what can I be more aware of in my relationship with my spouse? Uh, my own, what do I need to do to, to better myself, you know? Yeah. Um, and so there's a lot of resources in there and we're taking the best of the best of thought leaders, experts that are already out there doing good work. Mm -hmm. We just wanna give them more reach. So mm -hmm. we're not necessarily the creators of the content, we're the procurers of it. Right, so we right. kind of pull it all together in one spot so that people can take advantage of it. And people are gonna be you know, at different stages in their life. Some people have teenagers, some people have little ones. Yeah. So yeah. You know, if we can teach people at the younger age, especially young parents, hey, wait to give them a device. You know, yeah. Why don't yeah. you ask these questions to see if they really should have a device in the first place? You know, are they cleaning their room or doing their responsibilities without <laughs> you having to say so, right, you know? Right. So yeah. there's a lot of different things that you can do, but most parents don't come up with this stuff themselves. Yeah. But there's other people yeah. out there that have had to. And it's, it's the situation right now where we're forced to find solutions and no one really knows where yeah. to go to get them. And so we want to be that place that people can find it. What, what, um, what then as a parent um, can, can, we do, uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to formulate the question because it's, it's one of those questions of like, I don't want to be the bad guy. You yeah. know, like I, I can just imagine, you know, all of the conversations of like, you know, I don't want to be mean to my kids. Um, their friends all have these devices and I'm the only one. I'm such the bad guy. Um, are there resources to kind of empower those parents? Well, there's an organization we work with called Better Screen Time. And right. so, for instance, she's got a whole uh, group of things that you can do, uh, whatever stage you might be in with your kids. Yeah. But for us, I mean, I, we gave our, our daughter, she was 11 years old, a phone. And uh, it was a smartphone. And we're like, okay, she's going to be babysitting. We're going to need to get a hold of her. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, she's got an Instagram account. Next thing you know, she's on <laughs> Snapchat. And it's like we just saw this complete shift yeah. Yeah. in this young child that we had. And it wasn't necessarily a good thing. And I, I, we love our daughter. She's awesome. She's amazing. But we have noticed that it did take uh, have an effect on her. People. Absolutely. It does yeah. change people. And so with my son, we didn't let him have one until he was 14. And he had to answer affirmatively to all these questions, <laughs> right. you know, awesome. so we made it a rule. And my youngest son right now, we got a gab phone for him. Oh, so all he's got access to is just the ability call. to talk or call. And, yep. and see, a lot of parents just don't know that these things exist. Yeah. Uh, Bark is another great solution out there. So Bark will actually monitor any thing on the phone that might be something that should be questioned right. uh, without you having to dig through and, and you know, interrupt their privacy and yep. say, hey, what are you doing online? You know, and just being this 
parent that's super annoying and paranoid all the time, you know? <laughs> Give me your phone. Yeah, exactly, you know? Yeah. Um, but I need it, your it, thumbprint. That's right, that too. <laughs> He's asleep. <laughs> yeah, oh Yeah. so so these are the things, you know, and, and again, we're, we aren't the creators of all of this stuff. We just want to introduce other families to it. No, well, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. And I Absolutely. know a lot of people out there are looking for solutions like this because social media is a big thing right now and it's something that, everyone wants and I feel like it's got to take responsibility for it because it's a big yeah well and thing. look at what you're doing uh, Roosevelt because you look at music you know you're spending your time look at how you're spending your time you're not on social media you're singing you're developing your talents right yeah. and there's so many um, things that I ki think kids are missing out on again because they're in their devices, yeah. we need to get back into sports and yeah. the things that allow them to do things off the devices. Be <laughs> yeah, be kids and yeah. get into the arts. You'll learn piano. Yeah. We got our kids into let's play music when they were yeah. really yeah, little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and so awesome. uh, it's they they my son knows how to play piano, you right. know, and it's like he can read music. It's like I That's think some awesome, parents are like, you know? my son knows how to play piano. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's the little keyboard thing on the phone. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So speaking of that, uh, the FAM Project is doing a virtual summit. It's yeah. Just yeah. Like what? Family, Family Survival, Survival Summit. summit. Yeah, That's absolutely. Awesome. About that. Yeah, so uh, we have about 22 speakers. Um, it's probably going to end up being around 30 uh, at, when we're all said and done that are talking on various different topics. Um, we see that this addiction pattern with devices mm -hmm. starts at a young age. So how do we stop that from happening? Yeah. You know, if, if we're looking at Operation Underground Railroad, you're very familiar with that yeah, organization. Yeah. They fight the supply side of human trafficking, right? Yeah. Most people don't realize that there's a big issue going on right now with human trafficking and sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. When you look at the, the core reasoning behind those people that are doing those bad things, Pornography is, is and you know, and social it's, media. Pornography is is the one thing that most all of them have the same thing in common. Right. Yep. Right. So if we have kids that get on devices between ages two and seven, between ages eight and eleven, they're introduced to pornography. Yeah. Are we going to have more of an issue in the future? Or are we going to have less? Right. And so if we can teach all of these ages how to deal with addiction, mm -hmm. how to make it so that I can be more emotionally resilient, because a lot of kids don't know how to feel. And so when they don't know how to feel, especially at a young age, seeing pornographic images or getting addicted to that, right. it's like these feelings well up inside. It's like next thing you know, they're on opioids or other drugs that they're being introduced at school. And, and again, it's just this addictive pattern that continues on. And it started when we gave them the loaded right. gun, yeah, right? Wonder, how so, did this start? That's right. <laughs> Where's, yeah, and, and the, us as gateway. parents, you know, we have our own things that we have to deal with. So let's work on us, parents, and then we can be better parents right there's a lot of good things on the internet there's yeah. you know, and that's one of the things that you know we've committed to which you know it sounds like you've committed to and Social child media health for is good. a lot of good a lot of great organizations putting good things that's right. on the social media but there's that's right. also a lot of bad things that people have to be aware of and i feel like also even i think a lot of what this comes to down to is being being taught the right things yeah and and I just think that I was like, oh, if you if you're learning bad things, then it just seems normal. And also, people need to um, learn to open up to um, the safe adults and everything. So I just yeah. think yeah. that learning um, and that is really it. It is. Important. That's <laughs> that is key, and that's one of the reasons why we even started this program is to say, hey, you know, look, there's so much going on in this world. One, that people aren't even aware of. We've had guests on here that, you know, we've gotten word from, you know, anybody watching or viewing the episode and they go, I never knew that that was happening. Right. Or I knew about it, but I didn't know right. about or it. Or they don't think it's going to happen to their kid, right? Yep. you know? Right. And then next thing you know, they're caught up in this whole thing. Like we have a really dear friend and just found out that their son is, you know, addicted to THC and, you know, which is totally different than when I was going to school. Right. Uh, and, you know, they're on the streets. And, uh, and so it's, it affects all of us in some way, shape or form. Yeah. We just yeah. need to be more aware of what the signs are. You know, what do we what look, to look for? for? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, and I'm excited about the virtual summit. We are too. Uh, we're excited to have you guys on. Oh, well, I know. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> Well, we, we appreciate the opportunity to, you know, go to that education, like to bring education 
to the masses, you know, Absolutely. with the digital world that we're in, uh, you know, we don't just have to have a little meeting that's, you know, down the, the street at a church or community center. We can reach, you know, the masses. And um, yeah. we're grateful for our Event Lab Studios. You know, that's, that's really what Dang. they've designed this studio for is to say, hey, you know, reach the masses, bring your message to you know, internationally, really, right? Really, absolutely, because yeah. we we have that capacity. Yeah. You know, especially with technology today and apps. I mean, the app can be used anywhere. You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. especially when you're talking about education or content, uh, you know, it, it's relevant. You know, and there's there's plenty of people out there that are all struggling with the same thing, and it's not just here in America. Yeah. It's all over the world. You know, and and that's what we want to do is just make that difference and be a platform for people like you. You know, to really be able to have an audience and, and a, a bigger reach than just doing it all alone. Let's do it together. You yeah. Know? yeah, well, uh, speaking of together, how can people help when, if they're listening? How can... So uh, sign up for the FamilySurvivalSummit.com. It actually uh, supports um, child help as well and anything yeah. that you guys are doing. Um, and, and that's what we want to do. Uh, our, our four main focuses is families. Uh, our thought leaders, experts, educators, how do we get their message out to the people? Uh, small businesses, because we want to support them with our deals app. They give yeah. discounts and stuff to our families. Yeah, cool. And then our charitable organizations. So 10% of all of our profits go to support nonprofit organizations. Uh, and then if we get referrals um, that come uh, to any of our products, uh, like our app or whatever, from our charitable organizations, then we have a, a larger donation that goes back to them. So uh, we, we wanted to create a business mechanism to support nonprofit organizations. So we, we call ourselves a company with a cause is what uh, we do. So awesome. fantastic. Yeah. yeah, and your app, what is, what is it called? Uh, it's called Fam Central. It's not on the app store yet. So oh. we're actually launching it when we launch the summit. Oh, uh, right. yeah. Well, so ooh, for that. Yeah. <laughs> first. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. We're real excited. And I mean it's it's the beginning stages. So there's gonna be a lot of development yeah. that goes on. We're gonna see what works. You know, we just wanna you know, this is a undertaking that none of us have ever done before. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and we're all trying to learn how do we get this message out? How do we get people to want to take action? Yeah. Not just hear about what's going wrong, but actually do something yeah. about it. <laughs> right. You know? Right. That's yeah. the biggest thing. Yeah, well, thank you for sharing your message. Absolutely. And everything that you, yeah. you guys are doing. We appreciate it. Make sure to stay tuned for the summit that's, that yes. you guys are doing. Yeah. Um, and and uh, it's free? Yes, the free okay. at registration okay. for the summit. Families love free. Absolutely. <laughs> of course. We love free. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we yeah. have one last final question. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, it's okay. pretty uh, complicated. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, let me see. I, all the <laughs> no's. No. Yeah. Boxers or briefs. No. Uh, all right. It says, what is your final message you'd like to leave with all of us listening? You know, uh, it's that you can make a difference. Um, I always get emotional when I think about this, but I think that our mess in our lives is meant to be a message for other people. Yeah. Um, how, do we, how do we take our life experience and make a difference in someone else's life? Um, most people have a passion for helping. I call it getting mad, make a difference. Right. Right? <laughs> and so you'll find me, I'm an acronym guy. But Love it. I, I just, I want to help people, you know, and I've always felt drawn towards it. And I think the pursuit of making money sometimes takes you away from the pursuit of what you're really passionate about and how you want to serve. Uh, but when you do that, man, the feeling is just, it's like, gosh, you want to hold on to it forever, you know, yeah. and see people transform. Like my life was transformed. I just, I, I couldn't, there's no price tag that could even pay for that. So yeah. uh, just know that you can make a difference in your own home, you know, and, uh, and it starts with you, you know, as a parent. And so I think that's a lot who we're talking about today. And, and you young ones, teach your parents what they should be doing in the home, you know what I mean? And be that example for them because you can make a difference too, right? So stand up for what you want. Oh, Aww. thank yeah, you. We absolutely. appreciate you coming on, sharing your message. Yeah, that goes hand in hand with what you said earlier, the H, how can I help, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, help your family, take yeah. that step, be proactive, research, go to thefamproject.com. Yeah. Right, the yeah. Famproject yeah. we'll and familysurvivalsummit.com uh, leads them directly to uh, the, the, the summit that's okay. connected to you guys as well. So, oh, very good. Yeah. Well, Thank we will you. have a link in the description down below. On, uh, on our website, the themusicandthemessageshow.com. 
Uh, thank you, Jason. Absolutely. For Thanks for having today. me. Yeah. Honestly, we wish you the best in, in all that you do. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you. All right, you can learn more about the FAM project and register for the virtual family summit uh, on the music of the message show.com. You can also find information to assist Roosevelt's five too many efforts to raise $1 million for the children of child help. Join us each and every week, Thursday at 3 p.m. for the Music and the Message show. Mm -hmm. And you can also take us on the go with our podcast. Right. So, links in description. And follow us on all social media platforms, but please regulate how you <laughs> use your social media, yes. right? <laughs> make sure that that's <laughs> out there. I'm telling you, like, go, make sure you follow us on social media. <laughs> oh, by the way, we just talked about, <laughs> you know. Oh. Keep it in check. All right, well. Uh, we hope that something from today's episode will inspire you guys to make a difference in a child's life. Thank you for being awesome. Now go help others be awesome. See you guys next week. Good night. Thank you for listening to the Music and the Message Show. Please join Roosevelt and Jeff and today's guest in making a difference in the lives of children. Learn more at themusicandthemessageshow.com.